Hi, I'm Kaylee. I'm the founder of Models with Minds, and we're here talking to Summerine Oaks. She's a model and entrepreneur. So, Summer, tell us a little bit about yourself and some things that you do outside of modeling. Sure. Well, I got into modeling actually through a more circuitous way. I was studying to be an environmental scientist for okay. a while, and my friends at the time didn't really understand that. And I had this like way about me where I was like, oh, it's them. And then that's when it like really clicked for me, and I, I said, if my friends can't get right. what I do, yeah. that's an issue with me. And so I started to look for avenues that I could practice more environmental issues on that were outside of my realm. At the time when I was doing my work in environmental sciences, like sustainability and fashion were not bedfellows. They just yeah. weren't even used in the same sentence. Right. So that was an exploration for me, and because it was uncharted territory, it was fascinating and exciting. I chose early on in the fashion industry to really only work with brands that were more environmentally, socially aligned with my yeah. values. I was like, that's an industry that is very mediagenic. It was a challenge, and actually a lot of the brands that I've worked with, from Payless to Portico to Moto to Toyota to Pirelli, they really came on board because they wanted to explore what environmental and social issues meant for them within their companies. Yeah. And I remember the first agency that I signed when I graduated from college was with Boss Models. And I told them, like, I totally wore my heart on the sleeve. I was like, I really want to bring my values into my work. This is what I'm doing. This is yeah. what I care about. And I remember Justin, you know, looked at me in the eyes and he goes, well, you know, 80% of the jobs won't be available to you because your hips are two inches too big. And I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like the, the worst kind of bitch slap ever. I was just like, the stuff that I'm working on is so much bigger than this. I'm like, right. what do, and you're what worried you about two inches. Two, I'm like, what do you think two inches on my hips are going to stop me from doing what yeah. I want to do? I'm like, I'm like, you're sadly mistaken. Um, and he was like, sadly, this is an industry that doesn't care. Yeah, but you know what? It was the one thing that actually got me signed with them. I'd rather be my full person. I'd rather, you know, stand up for what I believe in. I left Boss and I eventually started my own company and like wrote my first book and started working with Discovery as like an on-air correspondent and really built it with partnerships with people who are outside the industry first. Yeah. Then I went back to the fashion world and I signed with Next Models. And the owner there, Faith Cates, like really understood what I was trying to do. What I really loved about working, you know, with Next is that they never put my specifications on my comp card. It was just kind of like just trying to create, you know, a new language or a new way to kind of talk about these things. And right. I never knew how to react because I remember one time she's like, oh, you're going to go see Tommy Hilfiger. And so I dressed up like kind of in just like whatever, every normal day attire. And I remember coming in and she goes, what are you wearing? And I'm just like, you know, like model stuff. I don't know. <laughs> and she goes, no, you're going to see the Tommy Hilfiger. And I was like, oh, I had no idea. Like, I thought I was going on a casting. But she, but she would always open up doors to, like, these C-level executives wow. to work with them on their, like, sustainability and then maybe represent their brand as well. It's people like her yeah. that were able to stand by and believe in that vision. And, you know, we also had this experience. The first job that I was given, a big six-figure deal. They were trying to reduce a level of a chemical within their product and I remember that the lawyers basically gave me a page and it said you will maintain your greenness throughout the entire extent of this contract so I was like well if I have to maintain myself as being environmentally responsible then we're gonna throw that back in their contract as well right so my lawyers threw that back into their contract and you know lo and behold they kind of backed down and um, and faith was just like you can't you can't take this contract that's going to degrade your values <laughs> and i was like thank you like that you know here's the owner of the agency somebody who like really got me as a person right and who was willing to say no to this contract and say yeah. let's risk this and there'll be another opportunity well uh, wow i mean that i can't imagine walking away from something like that it must have been really difficult it would have been a, a lot harder if I didn't have the support of my agency. Totally. And, and um, that's extremely rare. Yeah, and I should be clear too that like when I went into my agency, it was like, this is who I am. 
Right. If you don't want me, then don't take me. And I really have that take me or leave me kind of attitude because once I left Boss Models, I ended up starting my own company. And I've always right. wanted to use fashion as like a hook in yeah. to bring people into the deeper story, even with all, like with all of my work. And I have to say, like if I didn't have that kind of support from my agency, I might have not had the confidence to go and do it. People have to believe in you, and the only way for people to believe in you yeah. is for you to believe in yourself first. People want to be part of your success story. If anything, I feel like the fashion industry has made me stronger as a person. People's opinions of you are only opinions and it's more about like how you feel internally. That for me has, I, I feel like unscathed by that or at least unaffected largely because I haven't let that in, that kind of energy into my life. And I think that we have to find a cultivate that, find our own inner happiness, find yeah. our own inner, inner peace before we actually go and um, you know express it. So. Well, that is awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Summer Rain Oaks. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.